Hi, so after my last video on current, where I just made some trailer sound effects, I wanted to dive a bit deeper into other parts of this synthesizer. This time I want to look especially at the granular engine. This video is going to be a bit more experimental, I would say, because I'm not going to be creating any specific sounds, I'm just going to play around with the granular engine, and you can essentially see what kind of stuff I would do to try to get unique sounds, what I would play around with, and maybe we are going to stumble upon a few very interesting things. So, just going to deactivate the wavetable here here and jump right to the granular section and I'm just gonna start with a very simple sound that I'm gonna import. Let's just use a kick drum for this. So just import this and the main parameters that I'm gonna be looking at are gonna be pitch. We can actually increase the volume here. Then also of course the size. and the rate, and I'm gonna use the rate in free mode. I think you can easily hear what kind of effect each of these has, and then of course I'm also gonna be changing the position. And spray down here as well, which you kind of also get a visual indication of what it does. So let's just start with these few parameters. And I'm just going to be using LFOs for this mainly. Let's just put an LFO on the pitch. Just go all the way. I'm going to use a second LFO and put this on the size. And then we're going to use the same LFO maybe on the position here. And we're going to use the other LFO, LFO3 on the rate. Let's actually set both of these to hertz. And then we are just going to give them different tempos. And now I'm playing the sample at the original pitch. Playing it at a different pitch is going to change the sound quite a bit. So now I'm just going to play it really high. So you can already get some interesting sounds with this. And obviously, depending on what kind of samples you put in there, you're going to get very different results. So we can also head over to the effects section and just enhance the sound a bit. I'm going to be going for a bit of distortion and then mainly a bunch of compressors layered on top of each other. Just going for the presets here, but I'm focusing on low-end enhancement essentially for this one. So now let's try a different sample. If you're using tonal samples, it's gonna change the results a lot as well. So let's just use one of these Brahms here. Let's play at its original pitch. And then play it a bit higher. And something that I really like is this layers function. So once you have more than one layer here, you actually get this layer span button activated. I'm going to reduce this a bit. Let's just use four layers. And now you can see the four layers here and I can span them as far as I want to. And then we can also choose a different pattern for these now. They're evenly distributed and you can see the different patterns that you have here. So by doing this, you can get some really nice glitchy sounds. And of course, this also works really well if you are using already very glitchy sounds. Maybe something like this. And of course, you can just change the ranges of these modulations here. So maybe let's not go all the way down with the pitch and just keep it in a higher register. We also don't have to have the rate slow down too much. And of course, it's also very interesting if you start to combine it with the internal filters here. So we could use filter 1 and just throw the grains through it. And then we can just use maybe a comb filter here. And 
and then just start using different samples. You could also reverse the sampling. Or you can kind of mix it up and just have the grains go in both directions at random. Now we can also use some other a bit more stylized sounds. And of course you can also just use other LFOs to modulate the rate of these LFOs. So let's maybe use LFO 5 and put this on the rate of LFO 3. And then we can also use LFO 5 and maybe put this on the randomize button of LFO 4. And if you want to have a wider sound, you can also just use the offset here. And we could also, of course, try different effects here. Maybe add a reverb at the end. Well, let's use a smaller one. And now these are all very random, long textural sounds that you get out of this. If you want to have a bit more defined sounds, then you could also use something like an envelope or one of these curves on the level of this and just volume shape the sound a bit. So maybe you get a short, uh, potentially punchier sound. Let's deactivate the reverb for this. And so now because all the LFOs are being pretty much randomly modulated here all the time, each time you trigger the sound, you're going to get a different sound if you put them on remote, especially. And of course, we can also activate our comb filter. And we could also put one of these LFOs on the mix of this. Let's activate this again. So what I would probably do is I would just play around with a lot of these settings here and then just record while doing so. And then you will end up with a really long file probably. And then just pick out the sounds that you like and cut them up a bit and edit them and potentially also layer them right away. And then just save these files in your own library and then you can pull them out whenever you want to create maybe some sci-fi stuff, maybe some user interface sounds. I think this is something that comes quite easily with the, these granular sounds. I hope that some of this was interesting and helpful. And if you're playing around with something like this long enough, then you're going to get some very interesting results and sounds that you would have probably never gotten with something else.